Hej, jag heter Christopher Briggs. Välkommen till YouTube-kanalen min. Jag måste säga det nu för en video som jag skapar här på YouTube. Alla synspunkter som kommer till synen kommer till uttryck här är mina meningar. Och inte nödvändigtvis meningar till folk som jag är associerad med. Denna kanalen, Organisten, blev stiftet i 2006 och har varit på Youtube i 16 år. Och därmed har ingen förbindelse till någon plats som jag tillfälligtvis kan befinna mig i idag. Och grunden till att jag lagar denna videon det är att de som har pushat vaccinerna och de som har missbrukte uvaccinerade nu önskar amnesti. Ingen amnesti ska de få. Vi kommer till att höra lite från Neil Oliver i Storbritannien och han har nog en tanke på akkurat detta här. Men för jag la han slippa till så säger jag att covid igen av igen på frammarsch här och jag tror att det har en förbindelse med att immunsystemet till folk är blivit svekket. Att det som egentligen skulle ha beskyttat dem har gjort dem svekket. Jag hoppas jag tar fel då, men jag tror att med tiden så vill jag få rätt i det också. Men nu Ska vi över till den klippen som jag ville visa och det kommer från GBN News i Storbritannien. Reminder by the way of just how mad the world got during Covid and what those who enforced it all are asking us to now forget. I mean, Neil Oliver, it's just unbelievable, isn't it? And social media giants are still trying to stop clips like that going viral. But how can those on the receiving end of such censorship possibly be asked to forgive and forget? What's your view on this COVID amnesty? Well, it's a it's a slate of it's an attempted slate of hand, Dan. Uh, it's a transparent attempt to have uh, the rest of us, those upon whom it was inflicted, admit. Or, or accept somehow that what th they did to us was OK. Um, and it's uh, interestingly, it's, I think it's as close as we've got so far to the other side admitting that they were wrong. Th the thing is, though, amnesties follow horrendous crimes. You know, when there's a when there's a school shooting, there's a call for a gun amnesty. You know, after the, the Rwandan genocide, there was there was truth and reconciliation, and then there was an amnesty to put things behind. So it's it's an admission that something went terribly wrong. However, they've got it back to front. The perpetrators of the wrong, the perpetrators of the crime, don't get to call for the amnesty. If there was to be an amnesty, it would be offered by the wronged party who had decided that they were ready to forgive. Now, as far as things have gone, there has not been any admission of, of culpability. No. There's been no apology. There's been no admission of anything that was wrong. That fantastic little montage, and you could have, got, you could have played that for a day oh, of yeah. clips it, like it, that. It went of, on. Of the horror that was that was inflicted, yeah. and you know, on a more personal level, you know, when when the the, the lockdown meant that you, myself, you know, I, we, we got no we got no furlough. My the mainstream of my work just ceased to exist. You know, my wife and I had to work out pretty damn quick how we were going to you know continue to earn a living and, and pay the mortgage, and that was true for uncounted thousands, millions of people all, all around the world who were just cut out by all of this, and at the same time for us. 
asking questions. We were demonised, ridiculed. The, the, the possibility of mandatory vaccines hung over everybody's head like a sword of Damocles and had to be fought off constantly by the likes of you, the likes of me. And yeah. the, the, the temerity that the people that were pushing that, that made those things happen, that you just showed in that clip, the people that made that happen are now saying that they want an amnesty. Well, for a big start off, how about an apology and an admission that well, what indeed. they did was unforgivable? Well, indeed, because we have folk like, let's use the example of Piers Morgan, Neil, who say, oh, the facts have changed. But I'm sorry, the facts have not changed. You and I were privy to exactly the same information as hysterics on other broadcasts. Yeah, I will uh, breathe in, breathe here. Vi som bor i, i, i Norge och i Nord-Norge, vi blev utsatt för nästan källsor från en viss redaktör i en lokal avis som kallade uvaccinerade för pandemiens gratis passagerare och och ända värre om vad som borde göras med detta här. Detta är inte glömt. Det är inte glömt och det må vara ett uppge. Jag fortsätter. And we looked at those facts. We spoke to the right experts. I don't believe the facts have changed at all, actually. All that's changed is that the public are no longer buying in to the fear porn that was shoved down their throat for two years. The, 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 you, know, you say you mentioned Piers Morgan. You know, the likes of Piers Morgan, the likes of Susanna Reedy's sidekick, the likes of Andrew Neil, they jumped on a bandwagon. What happened there was those people weren't changed. They weren't responding to facts. What was what happened there was their inner their inner character was revealed. Those were petty totalitarians who jumped on the opportunity once they had seen a minority of the population set aside and segregated. And as has happened throughout history, you then find out who it is that wants to jump out with the uniforms on and vilify and take part in the demonization of that vulnerable minority. Those people weren't changed by what happened. They were exposed for what they truly are. And now that it's turning on them, they can sense a change in the wind. And what they're trying to do is rewrite history, reverse engineer what went on to make things, to make it look as though they were only doing their best. And, you know, people saying that they were only doing their duty and they were only doing what they thought was right. That's an excuse that doesn't carry any water when millions of people around the world have been have either lost their lives, lost their livelihoods, lost everything. You don't just get to sit up and say, oh, well, I was only doing my best and I was only responding to the facts as I understood them. The, any, any possibility of moving forward starts with people standing up and saying, I behaved unforgivably. I did inexcusable things and I can only throw myself on the mercy of those that, uh, you know, that I'm now seeking forgiveness from. And unless and until that happens, there is absolutely no possibility about even having a conversation about having an amnesty. So I'm sorry, but there is no way back for the people that exposed themselves, revealed themselves to be authoritarians, totalitarians who just wanted to bully a minority. No. I couldn't put that better myself. Jag kunde inte se det bättre själv. Hade en del tekniska utfordringar där. Men jag hoppas att det ser att detta går inte bort. Och vi kan inte glömma vad som har skett. Det är helt utroligt att tänka att jag eventuellt kan kritiseras för att lägga denna videon. Det som har skett är utgivligt. Vi hade ett demokrati här i Norge. Vi hade rättigheter. Alla, alla statsborgare hade rättigheter. Och inte bara statsborgare här i Norge. Men alla som bor i detta land hade grundläggande rättigheter. Och på grund av att det het pandemi. Så var det enkelte som trodde att dessa rättigheter var inte så viktiga längre. Det var någon som till och med sa: Jo, men det har ju alltid varit. Det har alltid varit obligatoriska vaccinationer. 
enda det som var før ikke kan sammenlignes i det hele tatt, i det hele tatt med det som det har varit denne gangen. For det har ikke varit slik før at du har varit pliktig å ta emot en vaccine som ikke var ordentlig testet. Nå, no, heldigvis det ble ikke noe vaksineplikt her til lands. Men det var ganske mange som ikke hade något problem med dette her. Det var, det var mange som ikke hade noe betenkelighet over den der biten der. Det var flere som ikke hade noe betenkelighet at folk skulle ha sina rättigheter satt til side. Og det er ikke glemt heller. Ende viktigare nu. Det är som tog vaccinen, det har inte hjälpt på dock. Tvärt emot. Det snackas inte om vad som nu sker. Det är fler som får covid i dag än någonsin. Och det är fler som dör än någonsin. Men det var det var en sak för en en video till. Men jag är enig med Neil Oliver i Storbritannien. Detta kan vi inte bara ge oss. Vi kan inte bara glömma det. För det gällde grundläggande rättigheter som enkelt syntes de uh, de hade rätt att sätta till sida. Ingen har rätt att sätta andres rättigheter till sida. Ingen. Tack för mig. Du ser på organisen.